holding hands like the ultimate couple you root for. Oh, thank you. Here he is. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. He loves you so much. He just loves you so, so deeply. Drew Barrymore is gushing over her ex, Justin Long's current relationship with his fiance, Kate Bosworth. On Thursday's episode of The Drew Barrymore Show, the 48-year-old talk show host welcomed the Blue Crush actress, and she started off by swooning over their, quote, very important person in common. So um, we have a very important person in common. Um, my very dear old friend, Justin Long, a boyfriend, uh, a, a dear friend. And he and Kate have found each other in this world <laughs> and become this incredibly joyous, bonded, <laughs> real deal, you know, holding hands like the ultimate couple you root for. Oh, thank you. Here he is. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. He loves you so much. He just loves you so, so deeply. Drew and Justin dated on and off between 2007 and 2010. And back in September, she kicked off the third season of her hit talk show and had her ex as her very first guest star. And they had a sweet heart to heart about their former relationship and the love they still share for each other. That's what we did. We, yeah, laughed, we laughed all the time. So much. Yeah. <laughs> like that was so much a part of our connection mm -hmm. was that we love funny people. Yeah. We enjoy laughing at all times. I love that we've maintained our love because it. I. I, I don't think it'll ever. And I know from my end it'll never go anywhere. I'll love you always. You know. And so I. I I'm glad that we're able to still have that. I mean that. I, I, I always love you. Yeah. I, I will always love you yeah, so much. I know. Like you are so important to me. And I feel like we've been through so much together yeah, yeah, yeah. too. Yeah. You know, I feel like when we used to like talk and FaceTime, I was always like, you know, I've really grown up, Justin. Like I always wanted to prove to you what a different person I was than when we dated. You were the best. I mean, I mean we had so much it's fun. Fine. No, I know, it was a different But we were, yeah. you know, more hedonistic, <laughs> more immature. Yeah. You know, we would get together, we would break up. You know, yeah. there was chaos. It was hella fun. Fun chaos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, most hedonism is fun. <laughs> There's not a lot of bad hedonism. Now that Drew finally got Justin's current love, Kate, onto her show, the 51st Dates actress was able to find out her reaction to their conversation. So when we wanted to premiere season three, I like to do it with personal yeah. relationships and friends. And I asked Justin if he would come on yeah. the show. And what was your response? I was with him when he got the um, ask and he's like, oh, Drew wants me to go on her show. And I said, oh, you have to do it. <laughs> I was like, yes, yes, you have to do it. <laughs> and yeah, I was so excited. I was so excited because I knew there's so much love between the two of you and um, so much, yes, fun and like wild. Um, I always say you guys were like in the tornado together. Yes. Right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. It's like, it's the time in your life where you're just like, I want to like feel, I want to do everything. I want to, you know, just like be a part of the adventure in like a wild way, which is so much fun. Um, and he just, he just loves you so much. And I, um, I, Look, I grew up with a family who, my mom was married once before, um, my aunt um, was married before, and our Christmases, you know, big celebrations are spent with like ex-husbands coming to the celebration still. We have pictures up of ex-husbands in the house, and like, so I was, um, I was truly brought up with this idea that, yes, the love might occupy another space of the heart, but it doesn't go away. And I think it's so important to, promote that and to talk about it and to like really believe that. You know, in asking him to come on because of your answer, oh, yeah. I asked him if we could also be open about your relationship and talk about how we celebrate our exes. Yeah. And because of it's your so upbringing, sweet. because of who you are, <clears throat> we were able to celebrate your relationship, talk about we as women actually have an opportunity, we have a choice of how we can navigate our partners that we're currently with with confidence mm -hmm. and blessing yeah. and 
uh, a, a sharing goodness yeah. that makes all women look good and rise. Yeah. And it just was the high road. And I'm like, Justin, move over. It's all about Kate now. <laughs> Kate and Justin confirmed their engagement during an April episode of his Life is Short podcast, which was just a little over one year after they first sparked romance rumors. Drew isn't the only one who wanted her ex as a guest star. Axis Hollywood chatted with Justin in 2019. And at the time, he explained why he really wanted Drew to be on his hit podcast. What about Drew Barrymore on there? You recently said one of the biggest loves of your life. She would, I, she, there's nobody I'd rather talk to than Drew. I, she's the best person to talk to. So yeah, that'd be fun, yeah. Uh, that would be rowdy. Remember on rowdy. Letterman? <laughs> what if she rowdy. did something fun? Remember the Wayback Letterman? I never saw that. Oh, you know what she did? No. She flashed Letterman. What do you mean? She flashed him no, like in Marty. Of course, oh, who doesn't know that? <laughs> Kids, come Sorry, on, kids. Sorry, you bastard, you got me. I thought that was pretty real. Did you go for that? What do I look? I wonder how far you would take that. I was going. I still what don't do you... understand, kid. Yeah. Well, okay, let me. Uh... Show me. I don't. Yeah. I don't get it. More. What do you?